I really like to make hair bows, especially using scrap fabric. Hi, welcome to Anjurisa's crafting room. My name is Trisa, but to make it easy, you can call me Risa. In this video, I will show you how to make these hair bows with scrap fabric. So if you are making this with scrap fabric, you can make a lot of this. Stay tuned! First, choose your own fabric. You can literally use any fabric to make these hair bows as long as you feel comfortable. As someone who never attend any sewing classes, in my opinion, cotton fabric is the easiest fabric to sew. I use cotton fabric to make these two hair bows. As you can see, this is the cotton fabric with a beautiful texture. And I use another cotton fabric, but I add a little lace here. As you can see, you can literally use any fabric for this. And this is the fabric that I will say it's the most difficult to sew. It's jacket and satin fabric. But I really like the jacket texture. As you can see, it's a little shiny and I add it with a satin texture. It makes this fabric, this bow, look so luxurious. So you can literally use any fabric for this. And the best thing is you only need this small piece of fabric. So you can also use any scrap fabric. There are four fabric to use. There are four pieces of fabric. The first piece is nine by five inches. So we are going to need nine by five inches of fabric, three pieces. And the other one is six by three inches. Let's take this. This is for the center of the bow. We fold the fabric in half and then we are going to sew this part. And the other thing, let me prepare my clothes pin. What is this called? Clothes pin. Let me take this. So if you are using cotton fabric or satin fabric, you will, you will know which one is the right side. We are going to put the right sides together. As you can see, let's take this piece aside. Put the right sides together. And we are going to sew this part. So I will pin it first. And we are going to do the same thing. Take this piece put it right sides together and we are going to sew this part so I will pin it to make it easy for you to see I want to press the fabric. I want to let the press the seam open so it won't be too bulky once we turn the fabric right side out. But if you are making this for your personal use, then you are free to skip this part. It's fine. But I just like to press all of my fabric before I sew because it will really make a difference. It will make our fabric looks just so tidy. So after this, I will fold the fabric with the right sides together and we are going to sew this part. After I sew the fabric, I want to press the seam open. Once again, if you want, if you don't want to press the seam open, it's really fine. I just love to make all my hair bows, even if it's hidden, it's hidden later. I like to press it open so it's just have a very nice shape. Just press the seam open. Next, turn the fabric right side out 
turn the fabric right side out and do the same thing to the small piece of fabric Now, if you don't want to, you skip. If you want to skip this part, this part it's really fine. But I want to insert any fabric inside, so the bow will have a very nice and sturdy shape like this. As you can see, this one is a little slouchy because the fabric is quite thin. So I want to add something inside. You can use felt fabric, decoration sheet or any scrap fabric inside any lining fabric inside so I just put it inside just slide it just slide it slide just slide it inside like this now I want to mark the center of the hairball let's take my ruler fold it in half and mark the exact center mark the exact center and then we simply fold the fabric to the center fold the fabric to the center and sew this part After we sew the fabric, we are going to gather right in the center. If you don't want to use your sewing needle and thread, you can scrunch the center like this. You can scrunch the center like this and then tie the bow using your sewing thread. But I prefer to use sewing needle and thread. It's just that I love everything neat. I have been asked or complained about I really love if you complain about my video which one that you don't like and I have received a complaint about how I fast forward when I gather the fabric like this when I shaping the bow because this is the most important part so I think I won't fast forward this video when I shape this bow can just see uh, after I gather the fabric I tie it around and then I secure the thread just sew it a few times and then cut the thread just cut it and there you go you can have a very nice bow shape next I want to attach a hair clip right at the back side attach a hair clip attach a hair clip with hot glue gun and what I like to do is I, I will wait for the glue to half dry through this hole and then use some scissors or anything that won't be sticky just press the glue as you can see the glue is flat down so it will hold the hair clip more secure just press the glue just press it Okay, it's flat down now we are going to attach the center I like to fold the center like this so it will have a very nice crease like this just fold it 
and we are going to wrap around the center and sew this part for the last time to sew the center part I always move my needle to the left side and I will use this back stitch pattern so I will change it to the back stitch pattern right here Cut the excess fabric and then turn it over. After I turn it over, I want to add a dab of glue right in the center here. So there's no way for the center to move around, it stays in place. And that's it! Our beautiful table is finished! Thanks for watching this video. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a like and share this video. If you don't, just hit the dislike button and tell me below about what you don't like. See you in my next video. Bye-bye!